Aries, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Love you too. Aries, if you found the message or you the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age here, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms. He, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy, okay? Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aries, as always, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Truly, truly, I thank you. All right. Aries, we're pulling a, a oracle message here from Dreams of Gaia. Oh, hello. Uh-uh. We're going to peek at this. And then I'm putting all this crap back. I'm telling you now. Okay. I have a hero, Knight of Wands, Emotions, Three of Earth, Thought, Queen of Earth. Huh. Somebody's getting ready to take a serious leap of faith. Um, somebody's about to take a leap of faith. They're going for the gusto with this Knight of Wands, okay? They're all in their feelings. Emotions are here because they think that what they're doing, this move that they're making or plan that they have or business or whatever, love, pick one. But whatever it is, it's something that they feel it will uh, grow into greatness, okay? Which is why they want to go and plant the seed. All right. Um, now, this is you or them. This is something that's been a uh, thought process for a long time. Um, and nine times out of 10, like I said, it's either business or relationship. But if it's relationship, Aries, somebody thinks that you are a wonderful nurturer that you give to life, not just to them. And they want that. OK, or it could be vice versa. So they're coming. Here's the journey. Um, they're making a decision on how to come now. All right. Um, but they're having, they do have faith and they're very optimistic uh, about the outcome. So, uh, now let's, can I get one card <laughs> for Aries? I don't need no story. We've got the story. Now let's just break it down. One card, please. Aries energy. Aries. Aries energy. Here we go. Yeah. Love, love, love. Ace of water, ace of cups energy for traditional tarot. And I have self at the bottom of the deck. So Aries, you know, love don't, just because we're talking about love, we don't have to talk about it in terms of relationship. Let's, you know, not forget self-love. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's actually, you know, just as important and as significant um, energy wise, you know, uh, but the Ace of Water, Ace of Cups energy talks about divine love. It's a replenishing of the spirit. Um, it's also a uh, reconciliation energy. So for the person that did have or relate to or resonate with the storyline of that comeback, that is very, very probable. Okay. And uh, the move is being made for self. Now, for others of you, you said, I ain't coming back from nowhere. <laughs> ain't nobody coming back to me. I get it. But again, self-love, same energy. So you're applying this beautiful renewal with yourself, this renewal of the relationship with yourself, the replenishing of uh, your spirit from the most high. And it's a lovely energy. It's very peaceful, you know, um, and it's giving you, getting you rejuvenated and peace because in a minute things are going to speed up. I have an eight of wands here right behind the eight of fire energy. 
it's going to speed up with the seven of air. Um, even though it's going to be moving fast, you're going to handle the uh, situation well. Okay, with this seven of air, this more so talks about handling balance. So I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but whatever type of bump in the road, you're going to, it's going to be smooth sailing to you. You're going to handle it. You're going to balance it and juggle it well. Um, acting in uh, ways of integrity because you're of the forethought that you're having into your future. Okay, you're really, really um, in a good place with yourself right now. So you're dancing to the rhythm of your own beat or the beat of your own drum or however you want to say that. <laughs> uh, we do have some uh, daddy issues on the table. I'm not going to lie. Maybe, um, if, oh, shoot. Uh, you know, some of you might feel that you were misled by your father. I want to say it like that, misled. What? It's not that what he said was a lie. It's more so... The information that he gave, he only get, could give you what he had. And I don't know if it's because of a culture change or the times are different, but the message, whatever is he, his teachings don't apply to today. And But because you applied his word to your life, it kind of in the beginning came off as a betrayal. Um... Do you actually see that yet? Yeah, you see it as a trick or betrayal or setup or something. If it's not your dad, this is somebody that you highly respected. Now, remember, I'm talking energy, but right now it's coming off masculine. All right. But you you see it as a, some type of betrayal. But see, you get it. There's your ace of uh, air uh, here. The, the clarity comes in. So you understand now or you will understand soon that it's not that... Where you thought maybe, yeah, he, I was tricked, I was lied to, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's not that. It's more so that this person gave you what they had. And that was, you know, that's all they can give. You can't hold nobody to a higher uh, count than that. It just doesn't apply anymore or it doesn't fit or whatever the case is, okay? But they stand 10 toes on what they told you. Yeah, out of love out of love and you're getting ready to see that so you're getting ready to apply what you what you've learned growing up and then kind of tweak it with what you know now and then pursue your destiny and your own direction and journey you know uh with your own footsteps which is what we all should be doing anyway right all right let's get out of these let's do a spread oh i'm loving this energy aries it feels um like i'm gearing up you know what i'm saying i feel like uh, i don't know like yeah i'm, I'm you know how you i don't know it, the athletes they start jumping around went right before the race shaking their head loosening up that's how i feel like you're loosening up you know and i like it i like it i like it because that means you're ready you, you get ready to be on 10. Ooh, ooh. Off to the mother loving races. Come on, Aries. We're doing your spread with uh, Nefertari today. Aries energy, please. Aries energy, please. There we go. All right, Aries. I have a Queen of Cups in reverse. I have Queen of Cups in Mother Love in reverse. I don't like when the Queen, you know, I love the Queen of Cups, don't get me wrong. And the upright, it would be love and it's unconditional and it's a warm, you know, hug and it's a soft breast. It's a safe place, things like that. Very, very highly intuitive energy as well in the upright. However, we, Houston, we have a mother loving problem. I don't like the Queen of Cups in reverse right now with your energy being the way it is. Uh, yeah, see, the tower's at the bottom. I don't like, I'm, huh. This heifer have just shifted my whole mood. Um, I'm nervous. I feel like it's a hijack. Uh, Scorpio energy, I have to mention with the Queen of Cups and the tower. Let me just see what's going on here. If a child or somebody immature, I have a page of pentacles, is hiding, trying to do something behind your back. Yeah, there you are. Shoot. 
uh, something to do with either, this might be a coworker, maybe to do with finances. Um, yeah, uh, watch your coworkers because it might have to do with finances, trying to do something behind your back. They're trying, they're trying to take advantage of the fact that you're busy, if that makes sense. So if you get busy and you have a coworker and you say, well, take care of this for me because I have to leave early. Don't, do it yourself. You know, I, I ain't going to hold you. You need to do it yourself. Okay. Um, I'm not liking this person's energy right now. And this is about to be, you, you're about to have a sudden realization of whoever this Queen of Cups is in your life or the fact that they have absolutely no love at all. And it's not going to break you or nothing like that, but it's kind of like you ever find out you if you're cordial with somebody, you've never had problems. And then you find out later on down the line that they never liked you and you're like, Really? Dad, you know, I didn't even realize. I, didn't know, I couldn't even tell. Like, you know, it's kind of one of those things. So it's nothing really, you know, deep or concerning. This, why is it so, it just feels so vindictive. I'm trying to see if I'm not seeing something else because I smell it. It's a very vindictive uh, energy here. Huh. If this is not a work situation and so, you've told, you've told somebody, okay, for those of you that actually have a plan to pursue this business venture or to pursue love, that storyline I was talking about earlier, you told somebody and they're getting ready to try to block it behind your back or do something behind your back while you're preoccupied. So if you're telling like that, mm, yeah, I'm trying to see why. Hold on. Oh, Aries, y'all got me being newsy. Huh. Um, the only thing I can see here is they don't want you happy. I just can't see why. They feel used. Huh, that's odd. Kind of used like, um, uh, how can I say this? Like if somebody asks for your opinion and your help and or your help with something and you spend time, energy, effort, money, whatever, helping them and then they change their mind. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that kind of feeling so they get pissed and it's not it's not all about you they have other things going on in their life but you might kind of be the icing on the cake so unfortunately you're going to get the blunt of the wrath all right Whew. that's definitely not for everybody but i know it was for somebody because that's coming through really strong crown this queen please crown this queen let's get some more general information for everybody else crown the queen hello thank you Six of Swords. Yeah, see, somebody knows you're leaving. <laughs> Aries energy. They know you're making moves, okay? When I say leaving, I don't mean leaving your house, okay? Six of Swords or any type of movement in, in terms of energy, it's just movement in energy, energetically moving. So they feel the pull away. This might be somebody feeling you pulling away from them because your uh, goals or intentions are in another direction. The Six of Swords says that, uh, you know, it's an energy of moving away from toxic, moving away from chaos, moving away from the storm, going towards calmer waters and peace. Okay. So this is what's crowning this energy because this is where you're, you, this is what you're trying to do. But this person right here, this energy right here is, has a problem with that. It's pissing them off. All right. Your separation uh, is right now is, is like, it's setting off all kinds of cuckoo buttons, pushing the cuckoo buttons, you know, uh, what's undermining the energy? What's undermining? What's in the way for Aries? What's working against them? What's undermining, thank you, the world, completion, travel, distance. Um, hmm. Why am I smelling? I'm smelling the Empress. Taurus, Libra, maybe? 
Okay. Hmm. Also, Aries, I have to say with the world uh, working against you, it could be you feeling like you don't have it together. You know, the ducks aren't in a row yet or the finances aren't in a row. You know, this is not together yet. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and again, a time is an issue. Space is an issue. Something may be at a distance too far away, you know, or it's not the right time, whatever the case is. All right. Where's this coming from? What brought this on for Aries, please? Past energy for Aries. Past energy. Hello. Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. Ow. So in the past, either you or somebody felt like you stole a uh, piece from me. You took balance from me. You took happiness from me. You took what was supposed to be mine from me. You know, the Ten of Swords is betrayal. It's hurt. However, it is completion. But something ended. But when it ended, it was uh, what was left was a complete imbalance. You know, the Four of Wands is 1111 energy. It's balance. All right. Um, and with this Ten of Swords in the past, it's saying everything was fine and then it wasn't <laughs> for sure. OK, for sure. Where is this going? Future energy. Hello. And we have an Eight of Swords. Yeah, I told you, you're gearing up. You ain't made a move yet or somebody gearing up to come towards you, but they haven't made a move yet. Eight of Swords is toilet paper torture. So they might be staying at the start line for a while. I ain't going to lie. Gearing up, getting ready, gearing up, getting ready. Uh, how long they going to be there? I don't know. All right. But Eight of Swords is toilet paper torture. That's when you're in your mind. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, It's not time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, You know, you're stuck. All right. Stuck. Here's the Empress. Look at the bottom of the deck. Didn't I tell you? I smelt this heifer. I smelled her. Empress Energy, uh, definitely the embodiment of all four queens, uh, Taurian, uh, Libra uh, Energy, okay? Um, accomplishing great things. So, you know, uh, the approach, that if somebody sees you as this Empress Aries, they like, how do you talk to an Empress? Like, what do you say? Do you say, hey, my name is Aries. What's up? You know, like, what do you do? You know, so you, they might be a little stuck, Aries. Or this is you seeing this person as, you know, uh, the bee's knees. You know what I'm saying? And you're trying to figure out the approach. But with the Ace of Swords uh, coming behind it, somebody is about to figure it out because they want to get a divine idea or divine assistance. This is uh, communication coming in heavy because this cup is major. King of Cups coming behind it. They're like, I need love. They pulling an LL Cool J on you. <laughs> Six of Pentacles here. I do like that. Definitely um, somebody uh, is getting some angelic assistance. I need balance. I need some help. I just a little bit. I'll take it from there. And what they're going to use this to solidify the deal, the mother loving boomstick every time. <laughs> they say, look, just get me in the door. <laughs> Aries, is that what you're saying? Or that's what somebody's saying about you. Just give me a little help. They they on their knees praying. Just give me in the door. I can take it from there. Hello? <laughs> but again, if this is business, guys, and you're definitely uh, trying to figure out how to start, you know that there's something that's is going to be successful. This idea or the answer to um, how to get out of that um, stuck mode is coming, Okay because you're doing what you love. You're going to get some angelic assistance and success is to be had. Same, uh, the energy applies if it's personal and not business, okay? The energy applies. Now, you're saying, I'm look, somebody is coming in with this offer. Look, I got the boomstick to make you do some things, baby. Make you do some things, okay? And this person, it, it, <laughs> oh, Aries, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I love you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. It's almost like you're looking at them like, yeah, you got the boomstick, but where's the money? You know, five of pentacles right behind this boomstick. It's a broke boomstick. <laughs> oh, my stomach. Is that what you said, Aries? <laughs> you said, yeah, you got the boomstick, but where's the money? Cause I'm focused on my future, King of Wands energy. You know what I mean? That's what you're looking at. You so you yeah, I know I know about the boomstick. That's what you're saying. I know about that part. Okay. What I don't understand is how you expect 
to go from these five of pentacles up uh, and, and approach me at king status. That's the, I don't see that part. All right. So you're, you know, really working on yourself. Moon energy here. Magician right behind it. Heavy, heavy uh, spiritual energy um, for you because you're working on life, your, your new beginning. And a lot of you ha are starting fresh, starting new and starting over page of pentacles here, because you've had some sudden changes and sudden epiphanies and you're loving yourself. Ace of cups, again, same energy. So, you know, it seems to be, that's the general, uh, application for you guys. All right. You really are working on yourself, working on your new life, blah, 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 blah. And you just, you know, look, if you're looking at, yeah, you got the boomstick, but where's the money? Because my life is going in this direction now. The boomstick is not enough. You know, I need more. Okay. So, and that's what you're saying. Now, justice here, Libra energy um, and a page of wands. You know, uh, you might be winning some kind of legal situation or the paperwork. Remember I was saying earlier something about the ducks in a row with that world working against you. That's going to come through and balance out. And it's going to allow you to make the step that you've been um, feeling like that you couldn't make. Like, how do I make this first step, this approach or whatever the case is. And it brings you right into emotional balance with the six of cups, which elevates you right into who you are, emperor status, because you're starting your new life with the Oh, you know what? I'm done. Aries, now you're showing off. All right. All right. So Aries, looks like future energy is awesome sauce. As of right now, you might be feeling a little, um, a little, um, resistance if you're separating from somebody or some, uh, thing and pursuing another, there is some resistance here. So be mindful of that because this person is a little spiteful and angry. Okay. Protect yourself at all times. All right. Um, if you feel that you know you're supposed to be taking a move, making a move, taking a step, but some of the ducks aren't in a row. They will line up. In the mean and in between time, you might feel for a while like you're stuck. Just remember your goal, okay? Remember who you are. Remember your goal and let that um, hold you down or ground you or, uh, you know, you know, give you something, some type of promise. You don't let it like, don't get frustrated because of, of, of t you feeling like divine timing is working against you. That's what I want to say. Okay. Definitely a lot of self-love here. I love it. You're doing the right thing guys. Congratulations. I hope this helps. If any event you say, look, green eyes, you don't know me. You don't know my life. You don't know my business. It's all right. Okay, check your moon or rising sign this time. Please don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for another Aries. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. It's absolutely free to do so, okay? And it supports the channel. We are all perfectly imperfect. Never forget that. Talk to you soon. Bye.